William Jefferson Clinton took his oath of office as President of the United States today. He is the first of his generation to occupy the Oval Office, a man who overcame his unpromising childhood, the man from hope. Mr. President, James Carville is here to see you. Uh, send him in, please. <laughs> Mr. President, we have another little problem, so. What is it? Whitewater? No. Nah. Web Hubble? No. Nah. Travel Gate? No. Nah. Soft Money? No. Nah. Avoiding the draft? No. Nah. Inhaling? No, nah, sir. No, nah, sir. No, nah, sir. No, nah. <laughs> nah, sir. That, 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 that's all old stuff, Mr. President. Uh, it's about the end time. Listen to me, Jim. Yes, sir. Nothing happened between me and that woman. Absolutely nothing. No, sir. It goes with the office. Yeah. A lot of political groupies think they're in love with the president. Yeah, well, that, that, may, be, that may be so, Mr. President, but rumors about the end time starting to get around, sir. So here's what you do. Stick to your line. Nothing happened. It's your word against her, sir. Why should I be worried about the press on this one, Jim? No, sir. You rest easy, Mr. President. Hell, press loves you. <laughs> They're baby boomers, just like you are. Okay. Hey, they identify with your ability to uh, talk your way just about out of anything, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Press gonna let you get away with this, cause you're one of them. Tonight. Stunning allegations that the president had a sexual relationship with a young intern. Reports indicate that they began the relationship when she delivered pizza to the president in the Oval Office during the government shutdown. Well, the shit has hit the fan, sir. What is it this time? The dress. Dress, dress, what, uh, what dress? Her dress with a little bit of something of yours on us, uh. <laughs> See, here's how you get out of this. You blame the Republicans. You Let's see here. You tell the press that this is a private matter. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got it. You blame Ken Starr. Unbelievable. Well, hey, Hilly. How you doing? I guess we'd better phone Chelsea before she reads about it in the morning paper. Betty, would you find Chelsea for me, please? For a smart man, you certainly do some stupid things. Oh, hi, honey. Yeah, it's, uh, it's me and your mom. Hi, baby. Well, uh, yeah, something, something is wrong. That's that's why we're calling you together. <laughs> Listen, uh, tonight the news will report that they may have proof that I had an improper relationship with a young intern. I know, I know, I, I didn't tell you the truth. I'm, I'm so very, very sorry. But listen, listen. No matter how badly I behaved, it doesn't change the way I feel about you. I know, I know, I have to accept the fact that it may change the way you feel about me. I know that. I'm still here. No, don't worry about me. We're, we're worried about you, Chelsea. I love you, Chelsea. I love you too, Chelsea. Oh, and Chelsea, for heaven's sakes, don't talk to the press. You know what they're like. Yeah, we got to stick together because we're still a family. Okay, 
Okay, sweetie. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, baby. Some family. Well, why don't you go up to bed? I'll, I'll be along in a few minutes. You can sleep in the Lincoln bedroom tonight. I can't. I've got a Buddhist nun who contributed to the campaign sleeping in the Lincoln room. Then sleep in your office. Hillary, I feel your pain. Oh, yeah? Bill, we wouldn't be in this predicament if it were only pain you were feeling. What kind of a woman keeps a stained dress? Well, I have to confess, fellas. I had a thing once with Doris Day. Well, that was just a damn movie role, Ronnie. Well, I lost it sometimes, but only in my heart. Well, I, uh, I lusted a lot, and uh, believe me, it wasn't only in my heart. Calvin, would you do me a favor and run out and get a pepperoni pizza for me? What? Oh, I don't know, the works, I guess. Uh, pepperoni, onions, uh, tomatoes, olives, the whole work. What's that? Oh, my God, I didn't realize it was 4 o'clock in the morning. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, listen, um, is McDonald's open? It's not. Damn. This just isn't my day. Calvin, you still there? Would you have Agent O'Connor step in here, sir? No, he's just outside the door here. Agent O'Connor. Okay, fine. Thanks. Something the matter, sir? Uh, no, 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 nothing's the matter. I, uh, well, I, uh, I thought maybe we could, uh, we could talk. Uh, would you care for a drink? Uh, no, sir. I'm on duty. Oh, of course. Well, I think I'll have one. Uh, sit down, Agent O'Connor. Uh, make yourself at home. Do you mind if I call you Harry? Certainly, sir. Uh, sir, if you don't mind, I would uh, prefer to stand for your own protection, if you don't mind, sir. No problem. Are you married, Harry? Yes, sir. Does she mind you working at night? Not really, sir. Have you got any children? Yes, sir. Brand new baby girl, six months old. Oh, that's great. Kids, kids are marvelous, aren't they? I love kids. So tell me, Harry, what do you think the legacy of my presidency will be? Excuse me, sir? I mean, when your little girl, what, what did you say her name was? Uh, Sarah, sir. Sarah, Sarah. Oh, that's cute, Sarah. I mean, when Sarah grows up, what, what do you think she'll read about me in the history books? I think I'll be remembered as a peacemaker. The first budget surplus in over 40 years. A booming economy, welfare reform. I saved Social Security, and I saved the spotted owl. Did you know that? But come on now, Harry, you haven't answered my question. Now, don't be shy. What do you think I'll be remembered for? Uh, well, sir... Spotted Owl! Come on! 
He's going to be remembered for being the first president to be impeached because he lied about having a woman in the Oval Office. You're right. He had a lot of women in the Oval Office. Let's see. There was uh, Madeleine Albright, Janet Reno, Jocelyn Elders, Donna Shalaley, just to name a few. His legacy will be for naming more women and minorities to top government jobs than any president in history. Oh, let's face it, you nitwits. He's going to be remembered for that woman, Miss Lewinsky. May God forgive you, Dick, but on Tom, no one will care about that. That's right. Do you know in France he was darn near considered a national hero? Well, unfortunately, I, uh, I wasn't in the Oval Office long enough uh, to do the things that I dreamt about. And what were you dreaming about, Mr. President? Having more affairs? Oh, come on. If Kennedy had lived, he would have been known as the greatest president in history. Listen, if Kennedy had lived, he would have made Clinton look like a virgin. Well, Jack, you were lucky back then. The press today wouldn't let you get away with the things that you did. And I should know. I wish Bill had known that back in 1998. It takes a village idiot to make such a mess. I have been on the security detail at the White House since I was 21 years old. And no matter what the press says, I believe they all try to do their best. The damn press. If it wasn't for Woodward and Bernstein, I would have been remembered as a great president. Well, Dick, if it wasn't for Woodward and Bernstein, I wouldn't have been president at all. <laughs> well, I want to be remembered for telling Mr. Gorbachev to tear down that wall. And he did. I guess I won one for the Gipper after all. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's fine for you, Ron. But listen, I hope I'm not remembered for throwing up all over the Japanese prime minister. <laughs> Well, God willing, I hope I'm not remembered for saying God willing so many times. <laughs> well, Jimmy, uh, you did a lot of good after, after you left the Oval Office, and uh, the country is grateful to you for it. Well, I hope I'm not remembered for picking up them damn dogs by their ears. <laughs> uh, pardon? That's what you'll be remembered for, Jerry. My God, I hope I won't. Well, I wish I'd won an Academy Award for my performance as president. <laughs> and I wish I'd nailed that Saddam Hussein. <laughs> and I wish I'd kept my pants up. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Each of you will be remembered for leading the most freedom-loving people on the planet, hopefully for trying your very best, giving your all, sacrificing much, and still remaining human. And for this, we thank each and every one of you. Good night, Jack. Good night, Rich. Good night, Lyndon. Good night, you little pissant. <laughs> good night, Dick. Uh, good night, Rich. It, it's been fun. Good night, Jerry. Uh, see you soon, Rich. Good night, Jimmy. Well, God bless you, Rich. Good night, Ron. Well, thanks, Mitch. Uh, er, it, it's Rich. 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 It's Rich. been a ball. <laughs> good night, George. Well, listen, it's, it's been a fun thing. Good night, Bill. I feel your pain, Rich. <laughs>